Hey guys, welcome to a, another game from Infested Cup. Going to be solo on this one. I think I'm actually going to pass the cast off to Eski to do down the line, as I've got more Thanksgiving Day cooking to do. Did this live cast on Thanksgiving. Upper right-hand corner, we have Cheeto895. He's going up against Horny Valk, which is Frostbite. He's starting at the 3 o'clock location as Terran. And just by the virtue of him being Terran, I believe he is... Uh, going to have a big advantage in this match overall. I want to see if, yeah, he realizes... I'm waiting for a player to realize that, yeah, they can take the high ground. Is this... I should ask that infested in... Are, is this all crazy critters? Is it straight through the bracket just crazy critters, or is crazy critters just round one is the next question. And it looks like... Uh, oh, both players from Peru. Go figure. Did not know that. Um, if you're looking to sign up for Season 2... Again, check out Chalionge. Chalonge. Never know how to pronounce it. It's my own bad. Looks like we do have an initial scout from Horny Valk. A pylon being taken unnecessarily by Cheeto, but at least he managed to get it dropped. I think getting that simulator first is much more rapid. And it's kind of interesting. I feel like the first initial matches from everybody, they're just figuring the map out, right? And then immediately after that, Overlord scouting in. Well. It's big advantage of like, okay, do you know what's going on in this match? It's, and it looks like Horny Valk getting the idea of it. I'm going to go ahead and plop down his assimilator. And actually, if he goes for a gas deal, if he could manage a gas deal with this SCV, that would be huge. It looks like Cheeto able to get that down. He's attacking this infested command center in the interim. Let's see if... A Here's the thing. He actually might be able to do a lot of damage just doing that. Because there's so many critters in the way. I don't know that he'd be able to respond uh, all that rapidly. But gas is up considerably faster here. It looks like that just about 7 8 finished. And I think, yeah, gas production is where it's at. Both players at 11 workers currently. And I'm looking for that first infested Terran to be produced on this side. Both players have scouted each other. Gateway going down. I feel like that's just a worthless building in this matchup. Like, maybe to go up to some other tier of tech, it could play off. But Zealots do not play well against infested Terrans. And Zealots particularly do not do well with just... An immense amount of critters in the way. Also, Marines are just so much stronger with all of the interference that can be fielded. It just feels like, uh, yeah, Zealot is a bit of a waste of resources here. First infested Terran out here for Valk. Continuing to mine up. Both players doing a pretty good job of keeping an eye and uh, keeping those SCVs rolling, I say, as this command center remains silent for a half moment. Maybe they can build it. But we do see the first infested Terran coming out other side. Let's see if it can be used defensively. And a beeline, because of close spawns, this might be a faster match. Mm -hmm. Infested Terran's try initially trying to track back, but... Oh, this first blood... Oh, they're piled up! Oh, my goodness. That is game. Cheeto down to one probe left. And he's got two Infested Terrans of his own. As long as Cheeto spreads out a little bit and doesn't lose all of his SCVs to these Infested Terrans, he should be okay. But takes a big hit there. Now down to nine. And this poor Infested Terran walking up. Actually, you know what would be interesting is as if there was like, a, at least on this map, is as if the Infested Terran's health ticked down just a little bit. So as long as he engages, I think, this Infested Terran, if he can get there, making its way across, can he get the defensive hit? No, can't. And SCVs piled up again. Okay, good spread. This is almost like Marine spread versus Banelings this time. But Valk still holds. He's got seven SCVs. Overall, he also managed to sneak a barracks up. Let's see if he can get some marines out on the ground. But a huge advantage currently to Valk over uh, Cheeto as things are running. Another infested Terran being fielded over a probe, though. So definitely wanting trying to... So going kind of the desperation tactic. Another infested Terran looks like it's going to make its way in for Valk. And he doesn't even have that many probes to target, to be honest. And is he just going to go for... Doesn't, and actually building another zealot. I don't like this uh, decision making here. Is going to get two probes for it, so one more probe, so down to one probe again. Isn't going to be able to rebuild unless he cancels that Zealot. The Zealot actually able to get on top of the barracks. It looks like he's doing some damage there, but is there going to be an Infested Terran defense? Not sure. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Able to get a lot of damage on that Marines. you got to be careful because Infested Terrans do do splash damage. Another Infested Terran making its way down for Cheeto. So maybe he can get in the SEV lines and end up winning the game. This Marine backing out. Trying to sit amongst... And actually, Cheeto might have a surprise comeback victory. This infested Terran trying to walk, walk its way around. It looks like it 
the SCV scattering, but spread together down to seven SCVs on this side. The barracks is going to get wiped out, but if those zealots can get into the SCV line and take out this marine, that could be matched right there. Another infested Terran being built. This marine trying to get amongst the critters, not quite able to do so, targeting that overlord instead. And it looks like the Zealots have, in fact, managed to get here. They're amidst SCVs, though. The SCV is doing a good job of doing some disruption here and getting those kills. The Zealots now backing off. Another Infested Terran is fielded. But right now, Valk has no defenses. Or very, very few defenses. He has no barracks out. He's just got that Marine and this Infested Terran there that's making its way across the map. The Zealot... The Zealots making their way back to the main. Actually, would want to spread out and just stay in this base to try to pre-trigger. And it looks like... The Infested Terran managed to get all the way across. No mining happening currently for Cheeto. And let's see if he just camps this Infested Terran here. Cheeto trying to get Zealots across. Nope, loses that probe and loses a couple critters as they spawn. Immediately returning to mining. Nice patience there on Cheeto's part. Another Infested Terran making its way across. Still a big advantage to Valk. So Valk's got eight SCVs running. And more Infested Terrans making their way across. Let's see if he... Yeah, he's just going after the Nexus and the Infested Command Center now. I think that Nexus can take I, maybe another two Infested Terran. I should get the damage. I should actually look up the damage. It's kind of a usually a Brood War trivia thing. Like, how much damage does an Infested Terran do? A lot. Another Infested Terran making its way out. Another barracks being built. Two Marines trying to deal with this out. They One Marine down. Two Zealots. Sorry, two Zealots there. They got mixed amongst the critters there. Now working on the Command Center opposite side. This Infested Terran just going to walk up. And how much damage do they end up doing? 500. 500 damage. So here it'll be close, but the Infested Terran will not take out the Nexus with this hit. If it lands on the Nexus. Disrupting mining right there. The Zealot's able to take out a handful of SCVs trying to disrupt this barracks from being built. Looks like he was able to get that SCV there. And was the... Did, looks like that Infested Terran blew up on a single probe, so not a big win. Another Infested Terran being produced. So Valk... Able to still get the Infested Terrans out. One Zealot left. Another Zealot rejoining. These are full health. So maybe if they can get in there and start working on that command center, they can uh, make a round of it. But And it looks like there's finally Cheeto for a very... It took forever building another Infested Terran now. He's actually going to go all in, moving his probes into an attack posture. Both Zealots being wiped out. A little bit of splash damage on the barracks. So it's two probes on the offensive. Getting on top of that Marine battle probes. One probe getting taken out. The second probe doing some damage. But this is the last probe for Cheeto. And I think that might be all she wrote. Because there's not enough resource. He's got to get back to mining. Is that Marine going to get wiped out? No. Cheeto trying to walk by. Is managing to get on top of the SCVs. But does not explode. And there's GG from Cheeto. <laughs> so game one. Going to Valk. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Gonna move on to game two between these guys momentarily.